In the surrealist novel Sombrero Fallout, a Japanese novel by American author and poet Richard Brodigan, we follow the story of a humorist who is grappling with heartbreak and writer's block. To deal with his emotional turmoil, he decides to write a story about a sombrero falling from the sky. The narrative style of short chapters and humor is typical of Brodigan's works, making it one of his best according to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. The book's protagonist, an American humorist living in San Francisco, is heartbroken over the loss of his Japanese girlfriend. Suffering from writer's block, he starts writing a story about a frigid sombrero falling from the sky but quickly discards it due to boredom and frustration. He then embarks on a frenzied search for a memento from his departed lover. The story shifts to recount how the humorist and his girlfriend met. She worked in a psychiatric hospital in San Francisco and encountered his eccentricities. After their breakup, she vowed never to date a writer again. In the present, the humorist struggles with mundane decisions like whether to eat or not, reflecting his emotional turmoil. Meanwhile, the discarded sombrero story takes on a life of its own. The crumpled page unfolds itself and heads to the southwestern town the humorist envisioned, where the sombrero falls from the sky. However, this event triggers chaos and violence, with federal troops called in and thousands killed. The situation is resolved with the intervention of the real-life novelist Norman Mailer. The book concludes by posing questions about the sombrero's presence on Main Street, suggesting there's more to life than meets the eye. The novel seems to juxtapose the humorist's stagnant reality with the chaotic events triggered by the sombrero, leaving the reader with a sense of ambiguity. Sombrero Fallout is a bewildering and often nonsensical narrative, but it exemplifies why Brodigan is considered one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.